Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll show you how to create a moving platform by only using Unity's visual scripting and not writing a single line of code. Having said that, let's get started. So let me just walk you through the scene objects that I have set up over here. We have the normal main camera. We have a moving platform, which is a combination of the platform itself. And in side platform, I just have this sprite renderer or sprite. Then after that, we have a start point and a end point as well. So these are the locations or points until which the platform will be moving. So the platform will be either going to the left direction towards the start or to the right direction towards the end point. We have a normal background and these two platforms. Now for the platform game object, I have created one script machine. So let's go through that. Let's maximize the script graph. Okay. Now over here for the script graph, I have created some scene variables. The first one is the position one. It is of type transform and we are simply storing the transform of the start game object that we have created. In position, position two, we have our end game objects transform. We have created two more variables. The first one is the next pause. This will be treated as a target location or target position. So let's say if you are starting from the start location, in the next position variable will be storing the end position so that the platform should go from left to right. Then we have the speed variable. This will determine the speed at which the transform will be moving from a certain point to another point. Now, over here, we can see that inside the on start event node, we are simply setting the next position value with the position two variables position. Over here, we are simply setting like this. Now in the on update event node, there are two things that we are checking. The first one is we are simply checking whether the platform has reached the first position or not. Over here, you can see we have our if node. It's getting the value from this equal node and the equal node is actually comparing the current position of the game object or the platform and the position one value that we have put over here. If both of them are equal, then it will be returning true. Once we get true, we are simply setting the next position values as the second position position points of values. And if this is not true, if this is false, then we are simply checking whether our platform has reached the second position or not. When I say second position, that means the end point on the right side. Again, we are checking the same thing or the same logic. We have our if node that is getting its value from the equal node. And in the equal node, we are simply checking if the current position is equal to the position, position two variables position or value. If this is true, then we are simply setting our next position as the position one value or points. Now in the bottom, we have one more node. So you guys must be thinking that uh, I have used on update event multiple times over here. First time I used it over here, second time I used it over here. So in Unity's widget scripting, we can call the on update event as many times as we want. So there is no issue with that. So on this one, we are simply moving the platform to the target location. So whatever point we are setting for this variable, the next post variable, we are simply moving the platform towards that variable. How we are doing? We are simply setting the current position or the current game objects or the platform's position like this. Over here, we have a function or node called as move towards. It takes three parameters. The first one is the current game object's position. We are passing through this. Then the second one is the target position or location. Over here, we are simply passing the next position value because it stores the target position values. 
the third one is the maximum or max distance delta it's a combination of the speed and the uh, time dot delta time node we are simply multiplying them and then passing it over here so now if we go back to our game we run it we can see our platform is moving left and right once it reaches a certain point like the end point it moves towards the different direction or different point if you guys learn something new then i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel so that i can create more videos related to unity's visual scripting in the future thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video